What if I told you that there's a wall, 13.8 billion years away, and it blocks us from ever seeing our true origin? We've built satellites, we've launched telescopes into deep space, we've even captured the glow of the early universe, but there's a limit, a final frame, beyond which light itself refuses to go. And behind that wall, the Big Bang, the moment of creation, forever hidden, or is it? Welcome to the Mind Bender, where we crack open the laws of physics, pull on the threads of reality, and question everything, including time itself. Today's mystery. Why can't we see the Big Bang? And can we ever break through the cosmic curtain? When we look out into space, we're really looking back in time. The light from distant galaxies takes billions of years to reach us. So when you gaze at a galaxy 10 billion light years away, you're seeing it as it was 10 billion years ago. So here's the natural thought. If we just look far enough, can we see the actual moment of the Big Bang? Sounds logical, right? But here's the catch. The universe doesn't work like a movie. In the beginning, the universe was not transparent. It was a dense, hot plasma, a roiling ocean of free electrons and light particles, photons, scattering off each other like bullets in a riot. No image, no direction, just chaos. Light couldn't travel. It was trapped, like trying to shine a laser through lava. Then something incredible happened. 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe cooled enough for protons and electrons to combine. They formed neutral hydrogen atoms, and just like that, light was free. This moment is called recombination, and the photons released then have been traveling ever since. We detect them today as the cosmic microwave background, or CMB. That glowing static fog we see in every direction, it's the surface of last scattering, a literal wall of light. Think of it like a cosmic photosphere, a surface of visibility. Before that, no light escapes, no information gets out. So even if we point the James Webb Space Telescope or a thousand more like it, we can't see earlier than that wall. Not because the Big Bang didn't happen, but because the universe before that moment was opaque. That's where it gets interesting. If light fails us, what about something else? What about gravitational waves or neutrinos? Let's start with the wildest contender first. Gravitational waves are ripples in the fabric of space-time. Unlike light, they weren't blocked in the early universe. They could travel freely, even from the very first trillionth of a second after the Big Bang. Projects like BICEP, LISA, and DESIGO are designed to listen to these whispers. If we ever detect them, we might get a snapshot not of matter, but of space itself being born. It wouldn't be an image. It would be a vibration from the dawn of existence. But there's an even crazier idea, a telescope made not of mirrors, but of ghost particles. Meet the neutrino. These near massless particles pass through you, me, and the entire Earth like it's nothing. Now imagine the early universe filled with trillions upon trillions of neutrinos, Unlike photons, neutrinos decoupled from matter just one second after the Big Bang. They've been flying ever since. In theory, they form the cosmic neutrino background, an invisible ocean of particles older than light itself. If we could ever build a detector sensitive enough, we could see past the surface of last scattering. We could witness the Big Bang's first heartbeat. We could finally look behind the veil. But for now, we're locked in a bubble of light, a glowing sphere, 380,000 light years thick. Everything outside that, not darkness, not space, just silence. We're not just limited by technology, we're limited by the very structure of the cosmos, and yet we still try to peer past the edge. Maybe the most profound realization is this. The universe doesn't owe us visibility. It hides its birth, not because it wants to, but because some truths are buried in physical law itself. And still, we search. We invent new detectors, we follow every echo, we stare at the fog, hoping to catch the flicker of a deeper truth. And that's what makes us human. So the next time you hear someone say, science has figured it all out, remember the wall of fire and the silence before it. There's a curtain at the beginning of time and we are building the tools to lift it. This is the mind bender. And if your brain feels twisted in the best possible way, you know what to do. Subscribe, share, and keep questioning reality.